starring Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. I don't see anything we can do. What about the lambs? You raise any of them yourself? Uh-uh. What about goldfish? I got some home. Goldfish at a 4-H livestock show? Well, he'd be showing a salad litter. Yeah, and Woody's showing his jersey heifer. Oh, we should have started earlier. No, we only got a month for our project. Pass me that one over there. Maybe it's got something. what we can do for this little warrior. Come on, baby. Oh, my goodness, Marky, your dog is heavy. He's like me. His nose will probably swell up more, but this baking soda will take some of the pain out of it. Did you two decide on your 4-H project? No, we couldn't find anything good to do. Yeah. There you are, my beautiful. With his nose all swell up, he's not so beautiful. Don't you listen to him, Pokey. Here we go, darling. Darn old bees. Oh, nature gave bees a sting to protect themselves and their hives. We should be glad they're uh, quite useful and wonderful little creatures. What's so wonderful about them? Well, they, they make honey and beeswax and... Uh, pollinate crops and flowers, and they take care of their young, and they build their own houses. Yippee! Thanks, Mom. Well, whatever for? Porky, we got work to do. Huh? Well, bees are livestock. We're gonna have a hive in the 4-H show. I got some things on bee raising, that stuff in my room. Come on! Now, why do you have to go and think of that? <laughs> work. Oh, no? Why not? It costs too much just to get the stuff we need to start. I think we ought to give it up. Let me check your figures. Maybe it's in the addition. I check it over and over. Ooh, that is a lot of money. Over $25. I vote we give it up. Well, now, let me see where we can cut down. Well, we need the hive and the smoker and the foundation stuff. Look here now. Gramps can build a hive, and I can help out with the gloves and the veils. Now, do you have to buy bees? Where else would we get them? Well, um, why don't you ask Pokey where he got his bee? Wild bees. A bee tree? That's right. Now, then, that brings it down to $11.25. Oh, jeepers, that's still a lot of money. We spent all our money at the carnival last week. Wait a minute. Mr. Johnson at the feed store is offering a $15 prize for the best exhibit. Well, Mom, could you loan us the money? Then we'll pay you back out of the prize and out of the honey we sell. Well, is that the way you two boys want it? Well, who says we're going to win? What if we don't? Well, then you'll just have to pay me back out of your allowances. Jack is 25 cents a week, and I get 25 cents. 25 and 25 equal 50. 
Now, 50 and 50 and 50 and 50 and 50. Well, that makes 22 and a half weeks, Porky. No candy or ice cream or pop for 22 and, and a half weeks. Well, every businessman has to take some risks, Porky. Yeah, but does he have to starve, too? Well, we'll just have to win. Come on, Porky, time's a waste. Miss Miller, are you sure your figures are right? Twenty-two and a half weeks. Let's go get them. We gotta wait until they fill themselves with the syrup. I would have finished that little bit a long time ago. Let's loose them over at the field so we can follow them. How far do they fly? The book says one to two miles. Oh, is that all? Yeah. Best bee dog in the whole county. Well, we got us some wild bees. I'll mark it. Let's run back and see if Mom's back from town with our stuff. Do we have to run back, too? Come on, girl. what we're doing. Jeff, you get the smoker. Okay. Porky, put the hive over here on the ground near the tree. Okay. How do you know so much about bees, Mrs. Miller? Shh. I don't. I've been reading your beekeeping book, but I don't want the bees to know that. Oh, I get it. Act confident, huh? Exactly. How much, Mom? Well, you don't need much. Smoke scares them, and they fill themselves up with honey, and then they don't sting. I don't have to be scared to fill myself up with honey. The buzzing stopped. Okay, Porky. Act confident, huh? And so we tied the brood comb into the frame and left the hive out there overnight, so the other bees would fill it up. We got about a gallon of honey and about two pounds of wax. We don't know if we got the queen or not, but that doesn't really make any difference because the workers hey, make a new one. And... Down. <laughs> now, don't you two boys set your heart and win a no prize. You've got pretty stiff competition at that show. Well, we're going to have a good hive, Grams. Yeah, but you've got a one-story hive. Some of these fellas have been raising bees for years, and they got three- and four-tiered hives. We just got to win. There ain't no such word as got to. If we don't, we'll owe a lot of money. <laughs> well, Jeff... If you're going to be a farmer, you've got to get used to that. <laughs> Who can that be? Must be Jim Teal. He's bringing something from town for me. Oh. Hello. Hi, Jim. Come Hello. on in. Thank you. Hello, Nancy. Sorry to disturb you at supper time. Oh, sit down and have a cup of coffee with us. Oh, thank you. i got to be getting on home. George, here's those tools you asked me to bring from town. Oh, thanks, Jim. Good night, good night. Good hey, Jim, I see you got a set of bird's foot clover in that north field of yours. That's right, and I'm not sure that I've done the right thing. Well, if you get a set of good seed, it's, it's a good cash crop. And if I don't? Well, then you and Jeff can have a crying spell together. <laughs> That's right. Well, good night, Jim. Good night. Good night, Jim.
Look how the comb's damaged. Look at all the dead bees. Yep. Looks like a marauder of some sort. All that, honey. And all that money. What is it, Gramps? What do you think could have done it? I don't know. Porky, tonight you and me are going to pitch a pup tent and sleep out here. Oh, no, you're not. Well, Mom, the show's tomorrow. we got to do something to protect the hive. Yeah, but who's going to protect us? Porky's right, Jeff. Honey attracts bears, and one could have come down out of the hills. Porky can stay overnight if his mother says he can, but you'll both sleep inside. But the bees will take care of the comb. We'll think of something. Now you boys run off to school. Let me have that, Jeff. Okay. Come on, Lassie. Bye, boy. Bye, Mom. That ought to be enough, Porky. Nothing can get in here without making an awful racket. Lassie must have scared it off. Come on in the house. It's getting cold out here. You boys better get some sleep. You have to get up early in the morning for the show. Okay, Mom. Come on, Lassie. I looked. It was a raccoon. You can see the tracks all over. They're too darn smart. Oh, it's just a shame, boys. A mean shame. Lassie tried to warn us. Well, that was my fault. I made the entrance to the hive too big. I should have used half-inch cleats. We can't take the hive to the show now. There's no use in even going at all. Now we don't even have a shot at the prize. Oh, well. I always did want to go on a diet but not much. <laughs> You're taking it awfully hard. Well, I don't blame them. Say, what are you going to do about that money they owe you? What's it come to? Minus the wild honey and the wax, it's still about $7. Oh, you're going to take it out of their allowance? I don't want to do it, but that's the arrangement they made. Mm -hmm. Well, look, I got a surprise for the boys. I built a new hive that I'm going to give them to put on top of the one they got, and that'll make them a two-tier. That's nice. Hello, Jenny. George Miller. Ring Jim Teal for me, will you, please? Hello, Jim. 
George. George Miller. About that bird's foot clover you were worried about. Yeah, you know, I got an idea. Goodness, you have me nearly scared to death. Where is it? Can we get it? Sure we can. It's in the woods. Oh, I might have known. Bees like to swarm with other bees. Now, go in the barn and get that other hive, Jeff. What other hive? Now, don't ask so many questions. We've got to get that swarm before Jim Teal gets here. And, Porky, you help me with the ladder. Okay, Come on. Okay, okay. I'll get the bales and the gloves. What are you, what are you waiting for? Get going, get going. I'm going. There's not that much of a hurry. Well, that shows how much you know. If they're swarming here, they probably won't fly away, Mr. Miller. That doesn't interest me. It's Jim Teal. What's he got to do with it? Well, you wait to see. Now, see if you can get the queen. Uh, I'll try. And if you get the queen bee in the hive, the rest of the hive will follow her. Well, if he does it, Dad, we'll take a frame from the old colony and put it in this hive. And then they'll develop a new queen. I know that, but it's better to have the queen. Right. Now, take it easy, Jeff. Take it easy now. Don't disturb him too much. That's the boy. Come on. That's it. <laughs> All right, right up again now. Right up. <laughs> That's good. We should be able to pay you back sooner now, Mom. With the two hives, I mean. Oh, don't worry about it, Jeff. Uh, he's right to worry. But you don't have to worry as much as you think you do. What do you mean, Gramps? <laughs> Here's Jim Teal now. Now, you boys get this stuff put away, then come in the house. What's Jim Teal got to do with it? I don't know. Who's going to keep that raccoon from getting in this beehive? Oh, we'll put up a big barricade. Better allow enough room so the bees can get in. Oh, no, not again. Oh, right on the same spot. We'd better get him in the house, quick. Darn old bees. Come on, Pokey. Come on, Pokey. Pokey, Pokey come on, boy. What in the world happened to Pokey? Oh, no, don't tell me. Uh-huh. Come on, Pokey. Come on over to Dr. Allen. That's it. Poor Oh, you boys sit down at the table. Mr. Teal has some business to discuss with you. With us? That's right. Come on over here and sit down. I hear you boys have got a couple of hives of bees. Uh-huh. Well, I can use them both. You can't? Set them out in that field where I got the bird's foot planted. I calculate with 30, 40,000 bees helping with the pollination, I get me a pretty good seed crop. The best you ever saw. No comments from the gallery, Dad. That's right, George. Now I'm dealing with the boys, not with you. Well, lucky thing you're not. Now, the bees don't make as much honey when they're put out to help seed, so I'll rent the hive from you. I would say $3 per hive per month sound to you. Wait a minute. Wow! Good old bees. Okay with you, Jeff? It sure is, Mr. Teal. It's a deal, and it suits me fine. 
I don't know which one of you boys to thank. Well, maybe you'd better thank Lassie. She found the beast for us both times. Yeah, so long as we're shaking hands, may as well shake with all the partners. Lassie, is that deal all right with you? 